Hey guys, I got another video for you. This is how to do the glitch, well, a glitch in Transit Zombies Green Run. Now, to do this to glitch, you need the turbine, and you need a riot shield. Now, it's not hard to get the riot shield. You have to get all the pieces here at the diner. You do the glitch here in the diner also. It doesn't matter what level or what weapons you have. You could do this single player or multiplayer. It works really well. Now, I was looking for the other piece to the riot shield here, but when I, my dazzle plugged in, because that's what I used to record, it's not really good. I'll maybe get better at recording equipment soon. But I couldn't see it because it makes my TV screen pretty dark. So I'm going to hopefully get new recording stuff. I don't know. So I finally found the part, this looks like it and be the zombie cuts me off here like a dick. So I have to run around. So a little trick is... I have the hatch, I don't know why it's not like there, but you can find the hatch for the bus, like for the roof of the bus, it lets you go in or out of the, on the bus. Now, after I get into the glitch, I'll show you what you can do. But first, you go into this corner and place the turbine. Well, the turbine should go on the counter. Now grab a shield, go into the corner, all the way to the corner, look kind of like down, and place the shield. It should, pile, like, you, the riot shield should be like that. Now, the zombie is going to go through the doorway behind me, and the zombie at the, like, on the last, like, zombie of the level, if you do this when there's only one zombie, he's not gonna, like, be sucked into the glitch, he's gonna go for the right shield, but all the others will go for the glitch, but back to the hatch, if you have the hatch, it works really well for, obviously, the bus, but you can go into the diner where I found this last piece to the, uh, riot shield, and you can um, place it in a corner. Most of you probably know this, but this is for the people who don't. And you can place it in the corner in the uh, diner itself, which will give you access to the roof of the diner. And on the roof, you find the Galvan Knuckles. And the Galvan Knuckles, I think, are really well. They're a one-hit kill to level 13, but they're pretty expensive. They're about 6,000 points. But it makes running around in the fog so easy because those weird monkey things with the giant heads... They try to kill you, obviously, and it takes like five knives to kill them. But with the Galvan Knuckles, it only takes one or two, so it makes running around in the fog a lot easier. But here you see the zombies are piling up in front of me, and it works really well. A warning, well, actually, they go right past you here, too, but a warning would be don't crouch in this glitch. This glitch is good for headshots and, like, all that. Watch out, because they could pile up so much they can, like, lag through the glitch and hit you. That's how you make them crawl. But you have to watch out, because if you crouch then you can't get out, and the only way you can get out, see it says prone blocked, is you have to get out of the glitch manually by switching out again. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.